nature over there is with you. Okay, pick one of the adults to come down here and help us out. Jackie. <laughs> What's your name? Amika. Amika, did you bring some adults here with you today? Mm -hmm. Who's been getting on your nerves? My mom. Mom. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now we're going to play a game where either the kids are going to be throwing rubber chickens at the adults or Go, the adults Jackie. are going to be throwing rubber chickens at the kids. How do you guys think we should play it? Adults! <laughs> you, okay, let's vote on it. Let's vote on it. Make it easier. Do you, uh, make noise if you want the adults throwing the chickens at the kids. No. Make noise if you want the kids throwing the chickens at the adults. Yeah. Go right over there. Are you mom or are you Jackie? This Your mom. Okay, that means I mean, you're going to go right over there. And you're going to go right over there to the blue splint shop with Denise. Now, the kids are going to be throwing the rubber chickens across the sound stage to the adults. The adults are hopefully going to be catching them in their pants. There you go, Jackie. Now, how much time should we give them to play? Should we give them 10 seconds or 20 seconds? 20, okay, we're going to play for 20 seconds. And let's meet mom. What's your name? Carol. Carol, and where are you guys from? Syracuse, New York. Syracuse, New York. So you wore pants like hey, this Jackie. before. Hey, <laughs> Jackie. That was good. And Jackie, where are you guys from? Kissimmee. You from Kissimmee, right, right here in the Orlando area. Okay, let's give it a test try. Now, mom and Jackie, you guys can move wherever you need to to catch the chickens. Go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, now, uh, Jackie, you can move quickly. Okay, here we go. We're going to put 20 seconds on the clock. On your mark, get set, go. Oh. 
was in the movie sequence we have been watching. This miniature set was constructed and then destroyed by Apogee Productions of Hollywood, California. It took Apogee Productions approximately six months of hard work to build our miniature set and approximately six and a half minutes of demolition to destroy it. Now what you see before you here is slightly less than one third of the miniature. The rest of it is still out in Hollywood, California in our storage area. By the way, in case you're wondering, Apogee worked with a budget of $2.4 million. 
$2.4 million for whoever said what. Now these buildings are facades. They are hollow on the inside to allow the technicians to crawl up inside the buildings and set off the explosions, as well as to rig all the fall away brick and mass material from the inside out. These buildings are too small to be mechanical as of yet. So everything has to be done by hand. The only part that is mechanical is the fact that they used the Dijkstra camera process when they filmed our films. It disappeared. Oh, here it comes back again. Let's see what it says this time. Well, it said nine and a half minutes before. That's how long they thought we would be in this room. Oh, four minutes. Four minutes. That's much better. Okay, we can do four minutes. shoppers you seem to know what to do so now not now but when I yell action a little bit that's when you start doing your thing okay remember to shake stagger in you know to scream okay grip one when I point to you pull down on that rope grip two when I point to you pull down on that rope hand over hand okay let's put you up on screen beautiful and some audio action <laughs>
business, believe me, I know. And that's why I developed this, my ultimate scientific achievement. The new eight-passenger DeLorean time vehicle. It's faster, more energy efficient, and it's a convertible wheel. I think if you know what the weather's going to be like in the future, why not just time travel to the sunny days? Whether it's an intergenerational carpool, any chance... Officer, Dr. Emmett Brown. Now that you're here, time travel volunteers, I can give you your pre-flight brief. Anything could happen. Hello? Hello? Dr. Brown? <laughs> Biff, how in places did you get in here? Broadcast these bozos. Doc! One of our time travel teams was conducting an experiment back in 1955. He must have stowed away! Hey, I'm not one of the past. I could just ain't got the time. Oh, there's the real guy. What am I saying? I got to stop something. Wait a second. Ah, why didn't I think of this before? My newest invention, the passenger DeLorean time vehicle. That's it. Just how did it work? I can pilot my remote control from here. But I'm going to need you to help me navigate. You've got to catch Biff. The fate of the entire universe rests in your hands. Now try and relax while we go over a few vital safety instructions. The vehicle. Once in, slide to the furthest seat. Adults, watch your head as the ceiling slopes. Hurry up. Get in, let's go. I can do it that fast. Out for our Oh, but are, is the chair oh. really moving? No. 
Yeah, you're flying. No, you're not. No, I know we ain't flying. Oh, 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 o
this guy down. Oh, here comes Walter. Oh, he missed though. Oh, you look pretty good with a pigeon on your head though. Wait, I'll get him out of here. Okay, wait, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, we left you a little something. Just let that dry and you can brush that right out later. He's supposed to land right here, so I'm gonna try this again. Really want you to really let her know you're out there. So start off by clapping your hands again. Come on, Jenny. You can 
Escucho los tiros, escucho. Thank <laughs> you. 